And first at six, Rhode Island Attorney General Peter Narona is raising the stakes in a budget battle with Governor Dan McKee. This is about how much money the AG's office will get to do its job. Good to have you with us tonight. I'm Patrice Wood. I'm Gene Valisanti. Like a couple of angry in-laws, they're not talking anymore. In fact, Narona, unplugged on Twitter these days, says they have no relationship. Narona, who let the ILO investigation hang over McKee's head in the election, is asking for $43 million in his budget, while McKee says make do with 41. In an exclusive interview this afternoon with the I-Team's Tamara Sikarsik, Peter Narona issued somewhat of an ultimatum. He talked about the steps that he would take if he's not able to add more staff. What other steps? Well, look, I think, you know, on the defensive side, where we defend the state, we really have to take a strong look at whether we can continue to take on all the work that we're taking from state agencies when they get sued and defend those cases in a way that comports with our professional and ethical responsibilities. So we may have to decide, you know, that we just can't take this, these cases until we get our caseloads down to where we can effectively represent the state. And so what will happen in those cases? I suspect the state will have to outsource them to private counsel, which will be expensive. You're saying with this current budget, if you don't get what you ask for, you may stop taking all of the state's cases. Not all of them. You know, obviously we'll continue to take some of them. What I'm saying is that you know that there's a certain number of cases that a, pro that a lawyer can handle. You know, they're ABA standards, and you just know what that number is. Um, we're way over at the criminal division. There's not much I can do about that because we have to do those cases. But, you know, I believe that if we can't get our caseloads to where they need to be, where we can defend the state effectively, then we're going to have to stop taking some of those cases until I get those caseloads down. Hmm. Personal and political, Narona venting today that the governor snubbed his elderly father at the inaugural, moving him farther back in the audience. In the meantime, Governor, governor Narona says give him what he needs or it could cost more to cover some cases. Now, in just the last hour, we got new reaction from Governor Dan McKee. NBC 10's Cal Domowski caught up with the governor and he's live in Providence with the update. Cal? Yeah, good evening, Gina Patrice. We just got out of that interview about 30 minutes ago, and it comes after earlier this week, Governor McKee described the relationship between himself and the Attorney General as a strong working professional one. The Attorney General has to make the decisions he's going to make. Budget battle brewing between the Rhode Island Attorney General and the Governor. Speaking to the NBC 10 I team today, AG Peter Dorona says he could make a drastic move if his office doesn't get the money he says it needs. So we may have to decide, you know, that we just can't take this, these cases until we get our caseloads down to where we can effectively represent the state. And so what will happen in those cases? I suspect the state will have to outsource them to private counsel, which will be expensive. Nerona is seeking additional funding to add 20 employees and establish a cold case unit, among others. He says his team is overwhelmed with case counts, and the extra money he asked for wasn't included in the governor's proposed budget. My ask for these 20 positions is $2 million in the scope of the state's, I believe, $14 billion budget. And in a situation where I've also brought back to the state $500 million in four years, we pay for ourselves and then some. I think it's an investment in our office more than anything else. How deep the friction between the two is, is unclear. NBC 10 obtained a March dated letter from McKee's executive counsel to Norona, requesting details on defending state agencies and officials. In a Boston Globe column this week, Norona said he and McKee, quote, haven't had a substantive conversation since last fall, end quote. I got a job to do. He's got a job to do. As I explained before, I have no problem with him uh, working hard uh, on behalf of his office, as I don't have a problem with anybody that's advocating for budget issues. I got to balance the budget. And in that conversation with the I team earlier today, Narona mentioned that he has talked with top leaders at the State House. A spokesperson for the Senate president says there will be some conversations about budget priorities and the legislative package in May. A speaker's spokesperson told me that they did meet earlier this month, but that they're not committing to any type of resources until they get a better understanding of projected May revenues, and that'll come out early in May. So definitely a lot of moving parts here, Gina Patrice, to keep an eye on in terms of the age fight for additional funding for those priorities that he mentioned. Live in Providence, Cal Domowski, NBC 10 News. Hi everyone, it's Patrice Wood from NBC 10. Thank you for checking out the NBC 10 WJAR YouTube channel. Click the links on your screen for more stories from across southern New England. And don't forget, hit the subscribe button below and get notified anytime we post an update on YouTube. As always, thank you for turning to 10.